Hey everyone, Bucks Gear Box, Lyle here. Welcome back to the table. Today I'm gonna to talk about everyday carry gear. From my EDC essentials to the things that I rotate differently on a daily basis. I'll be going through my collection a little bit and showing you how I manage to organize and store it all when it's not in use. It's not perfect, but it is a system and hopefully this video will give you some ideas on how to manage your growing collection of EDC gear and items and stuff. Coming right up. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a video. I try to do short videos usually, but today is going to be long because it has a lot going on and I'm going to divide it up into two parts. One will be my EDC essentials, the things that I take with me no matter what's happening that day. And really everyone has this, even if you're not like an everyday carry geek or some guy on the internet with a big collection of, of, of gear. <laughs> Part two is going to be more of my collection of EDC items and gear that I rotate through on a daily basis, given my mood change or what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do that day uh, or just on a whim for fun. So that'll be a fun part. I'm going to try to provide some timestamps down below so that you can skip around as you see fit. Two major sections, so there won't be a lot of timestamps. But if you don't want to watch a certain part, you can skip to the part that you're most interested in. And if you stay to the end, I might give you a little bit of a clue on what my next giveaway is going to be when I hit a thousand subscribers. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's do it. I figure first things first, we'll start with what I carry it all in. And this is my go-to everyday carry backpack. It's the Fjall Raven 20 liter pack. And it carries just about everything I need from my laptop to my iPad to all the items I'm about to talk about. It can carry them all in here. On days that I go a little bit lighter, I just carry this small Vertex sling pack. Sometimes this is also a bug out bag or a get home bag. It uh, just depends on what I'm doing that day. I change my setup a little bit depending on what I'm doing. I commute an hour to work, so sometimes I need the whole kit. Uh, but if I'm staying home for the day or I'm just around town, then I carry the little bag usually. And just to give you a little bit of a preview of what I store all of my little EDC gadgets and items in, because I'm not going to get this in the, the top-down view on the desk this thing's really heavy and my dog's barking at me that's what I keep all my knives and flashlights and everyday uh, rotating items in I'm tired this thing's really heavy all right next on the list is the stuff that I put in my pockets every day this is my ridge wallet this is my keys with a keyboard uh, key organizer I keep just a few keys, my essential keys in that. My work keys are far too numerous to keep in this thing, so I like to keep it small. A pocket knife. This is my most carried knife for the past uh, week, and probably the past month I've gone back to the full size. It's a Benza, and uh, this is a tactile turn pen that I've been carrying a lot lately, which is just super awesome. Very clicky, very fun, and a very good, very good pen. So this is my kind of like everyday pocket loadout right now. And by the way, my iPhone 13, which is right here, I'm filming with it right now, so it's not on the, on the table. Yep. Next up are the two most common ways that I take notes these days. My iPad Pro with my iPad Pencil, or my, my Apple Pencil 2. Uh, this thing is awesome. As you can see, I kind of mapped out this video uh, with this. I use a program called, or an app called Notability. And this goes with me pretty much every day. Whether I'm at work or whether I'm just hanging out, uh, my iPad Pro goes with me everywhere. You might be like cringing right now because, um, yeah, there's no case on it and that's because I lost it at a recent event. And uh, so a new one's in the mail. I'm getting the, the new 12 South book book for the iPad and I can't wait to get that and protect my iPad again. Next up, the other way that I take notes these days is I have been bullet journaling and this is my current bullet journal. Um, this is just, uh, this is how I take notes on a personal level, um, and I, this is more like um, sit down to do it time, sit down to concentrate on my week, on, uh, on my day, and try to keep track of things, get organized in my daily life, in my personal life, and this is kind of like what it looks like. I got message notes from church, I've got my weekly calendar here. Uh, I've 
I've got things I want to get better at in my life. Got a little tracker uh, here going on. And so, yeah, I, I love this system. I'm using it a lot more. Than, I tried it a few years back and I kind of, kind of floundered and I'm using this a lot more these days. Bullet journal, great stuff. After that, it's a little bit tall. This is my Nalgene bottle. Been trying to drink more water. That's one of the things I'm tracking in my daily tracker. Love it. Other things, these are some random things that I carry uh, in my backpacks usually. I've got field notes. I've got a Samsung T7 drive and the cable that goes with that. I keep uh, some noise canceling earphones, uh, earbuds. These are the Soundcore Liberty Pro 3s. I love these, they sound great. They do a good job. I can mow the grass in them and not hear the mower. It's awesome. Medications. Uh, I play guitar essentially for a living. I am a uh, worship leader at a church. So a tuner, picks uh, almost everywhere I go. Microfiber cloth. Because I'm an Apple guy, you know the deal. I carry those everywhere. This is another uh, thing that I take with me quite a bit. I write in a rain journal because I do a lot of hiking and that comes in handy uh, when I'm hiking. So that's kind of like a little bit of a conglomeration of random stuff that's almost always living in my one of my backpacks or my go bag. I also use a the Koros Vertex watch. This is the, the first version. I didn't really uh, feel the need to upgrade after buying such an expensive GPS watch. This thing is awesome. It has definitely uh, been handy in the woods when I've been on hiking trips. I lead hiking trips with a, with a camp and uh, it's been super handy. It really grabs the signal really well in the woods and the battery lasts forever. I used to be an Apple Watch guy. I used to have to charge it every night. Couldn't really use it hiking at all. Wasn't practical for that. This thing lasts, I kid you not, it lasts months. Um, I think the, the on the first charge, it lasted almost two months. Now when I use the GPS battery, it goes down really, really fast. Um, but it's super awesome. I love this thing. Great, great stuff. Chorus Vertex. Another thing I carry with me is this Maxpedition pouch. It either lives in my car or in my uh, go bag or in my backpack if that's all I'm taking with me that day. In it, I carry some energy tabs, some cash. Uh, stuff gets like loaded in here randomly at times. If I'm hiking, then sometimes I have some hiking gear that I throw in there. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of just meant for tools. Uh, I have a Skeletool, a Leatherman, a Knipex, I think you pronounce it that way, and a T3 tall one uh, flashlight from Olight. Love that thing. Random stuff gets crammed in here from time to time. And, uh, but this, this pouch, uh, the, the contents change a lot, but this pouch is almost always with me in a backpack. Kind of specific for work, I carry a MacBook Pro. Uh, and I also carry various guitars and other music gear because of my job description. So sometimes, um, since I commute over an hour to where I work, um, I'm sometimes carrying a whole lot of stuff, so, you know, I uh, just thought I'd show that to you. This doesn't live with me every day, but when I go to work, it does. What are your everyday essentials for everyday carry that you don't change out? They always go with you, because everybody has that stuff, not just us everyday carry geeks on the internet. Uh, everybody has uh, their favorite gear or the, their required gear for work and life. That they take with them. So I'm curious. Uh, and if you put that in the comments below, that'd be really sweet. I'd love to read them. Now on with the next, the rotating items. Okay, so I forgot to mention that this toolbox comes from Tractor Supply Company. It's a brand name called Job Smart. It's a great, uh, kind of a small but still heavy four drawer uh, toolbox that has a, a nice, pretty nice lining in it to keep your stuff safe. And uh, I found it pretty economical. Not a, not a bad thing at all. Check it out at Tractor Supply if you're in need for something like that. Okay, from left to right, let's go. And this, I'll show you this. My Spartan Harzy folder. This is the full size. This is a beast of a knife. I love this thing. It's S45VN. Great knife. I do carry that quite a bit. Uh, next, uh, pardon me, Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar was a gift from a friend, and he is uh, he is keeping my collection safe, and I appreciate that. That's like the OG Akbar from the, the old toys. This is my Rockeye, customized by Rivers Edge Cutlery, Cerakoted in a very wonderful fashion. I'm a basketball fan. I'm a UK fan. And though we haven't had very good seasons uh, the last couple of years, I'm still a fan. 
And uh, I don't uh, I don't use this knife very much just because I think it's so unique and I like to keep it keep it safe. So it it kind of stays here for the most part. I take it out to show people from time to time. This is my Exocet Bounty Hunter from Microtech. I love this little thing. This sometimes just sits on my desk and is the perfect letter opener uh, knife. And I love that thing very, very much. Very cool. So I'm going to put Akbar back over there for now. It's my Phoenix uh, E12 flashlight. It's a nice little flashlight. Sometimes it goes in my little, little tool pouch that I showed you. This is uh, a big Olight Warrior 3, I think, a mini, mini Warrior 3. And this thing is fantastic. It will absolutely blind someone. It's a rechargeable battery. It goes in my backpack quite often. It's just sitting here for now because I haven't used it here recently. Uh, this is the Spartan Harzi Folder Junior. This is the small, and uh, this thing is super, super cool as well. It gets carried a lot. It's got a EDC micro lanyards bead on it or lanyard on it. Uh, from the fine folks over at EDC Micro Lanyards. I love that thing. These things are really tough. Haven't haven't broken it yet. This is my Spyderco Paramilitary 2 with some copper scales that I put on it. That was my first ever uh, customized knife that I that I did myself. And yeah, that lanyard hole is a bear. Don't like doing that. But it was fun, and I love that big old heavy knife now. I've had that. That was my first really, really, really good knife that I got way back in the day It's at uh, River's Edge Cutlery. And this uh, this is my small Sabenza. I love this thing. It's in Magna Cut. It's single blade. It's a box elder uh, handle scales, and it also has been customized with a custom-made EDC micro lanyard from that company. Love those guys. And uh, if you ever need a lanyard for your pocket, for your pocket knife, or for any other kind of bling, then hit them up on their Etsy website. Very, very cool people, and they do great stuff, great stuff. You can also find those at River's Edge Cutlery. This is one of my many uh, Protec Malibus. This one's in Magna Cut. It's aluminum textured scales. This is the one that has gotten the... The most carry time recently of all of my Malibus, the Malibus I have, this is the this is the one knife that I have multiple copies of in different configurations. I love these. Uh, that's the Plain Jane. I've had that one more than I've had any others. I think you could probably see a lot of snail trails in there. Yeah, yep, carried it quite a bit, and it has held up over time beautifully. Love this knife. This is a custom ProTec uh, REC. Uh, exclusive colorway. This thing is amazing. I love it. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful knife. 20 CV. It's got um, pearl uh, in the in the in the button. Very very cool stuff here. I love this colorway. I love when two of my favorite companies get together and make stuff. This is the Runt Five in the same configuration, uh, except this one I believe is Magna Cut. Yes, it is. And this this one also has the now infamous uh, avocado bead that is made by EDC Micro Lanyards, but is themed for the River's Edge Cutlery exclusives. Uh, a very, very cool pairing in my opinion, the old, uh, the good old avocado. This is my Spyderco Pair 3 in Maximit. I love this thing. I did a, did a video overview on it. Also has an EDC Micro Lanyard that they sent me to beat up and I have not been kind to this thing and it is fantastic check it out this is a spyderco smock this is a river's edge cutlery sharp dress knives um scale set that came with this when i got it i got it at the at the at the uh at the consignment shop sorry i can't speak at river's edge cutlery one day come to find out that my good friend doug fox owned this knife he customized it. It's got skiff bearings in it this thing is fantastic i have a little like a short video on this Literally one of those shorts, but I do plan to do a full-length video overview of this knife pretty soon. This colorway from Sharp Dress Knives is just outstanding. So cool. So very cool. Love this knife. This is another favorite in my collection. This is Protec TR3 in Sapphire Blue. Oh, man. This thing's amazing. I believe I've done a video overview of this. 
um, or maybe a short one. Maybe I still need to do a, a more longer form overview of it. I can't remember. This is one of my favorite pieces in the collection for sure. It's got a little lock if you want to keep it locked, although I've never had an automatic knife open in my pocket. It's there in case you're concerned. Here is a, another Protect Brunt. You can tell that I like myself some Protect knives, right? Uh, this thing I've had for a long time and I've used it a lot. I love it. I carry it quite a bit. This is a recent addition to the collection. This is the American Blade Works Model 1. Recently, River's Edge Cutlery picked some of these up. And this is fantastic. It's so dang cool. I love this knife. I did a, a full overview of this, so you should check it out if you're interested. I believe they still have some on their website for sale. This is a custom knife. It is not mine. It's made by a friend of mine named Travis Rame, who you can find on Instagram. Um, check out the name there. You can find him on Instagram. And he's on Facebook. And he, I don't know that his books are open right now, uh, but he obviously does a fantastic job. This is, it's just plain outstanding. And uh, I, I borrowed it. I'm a good friend of his. We went to college together. And he's helping me learn how to make my own knives. And we got together and met up. And he's uh, he's kind of teaching me some of the things that I need to know. It's very, very cool. I dig this knife. And Travis, I will give it back one day. But I don't want to give it back yet. I want to do a video on it first. There you go. Here is my uh, typical tool that I use, the Journey Tool Company. This is what I fix all my stuff with. This is the tourist driver. Came in a cool set that I found at REC. Drawer two, or maybe this is drawer number one and the top is just the top. Uh, you know, you decide. Here's what I've got in my top drawer. Let's start with the pins. This is the TI2 design titanium pin. It's uh, magnetized, super dang cool. It's a fun little fidget toy and it's a fantastic, like a technical style pin that I use quite a bit. Love this thing. You can put the cap on the top. You'll never lose it because it's got some pretty solid, awesome, I think they're rare earth magnets in there. And it's made out of uh, titanium, super lightweight. And I love this thing. This, I think I showed you this before because I carry this one a lot. This is a tactile turn pen. It's the slim. I think it's a full size slim. I, you know, uh, I can't remember exactly which one I ended up with. This is the push button for sure. A lot of people like the bolt action ones, but I wanted to get that one. This is a pen. Ooh, that I got in one of those um, one of those bo subscription boxes. So I can't remember. It's brass, and I like it a lot. Can't remember the name brand. Very cool though. Okay, sorry, I had to pause there because my dog started barking at the neighbor kids. And this is a Boca Rocket Pen Plus, made out of brass. Been using it quite a bit. I've had this for many, many, many years. I like this thing quite a quite a bit. It's kind of cool uh, contour to it. Fits in the hand really nicely. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but I kind of, you know, I don't mind that. Here is a Tour Merchant 2.0. This thing is wonderful. This is an American made knife. I've done a video on this. You should check it out. Uh, Connor Tour makes amazing knives, and I really dig both his pocket knives, his folding knives, and his fixed blades. And I plan on adding a fixed blade of his in the future for sure. My Spyderco uh, Native 5, and this one is the Rex 45 variant. And uh, yeah, it's really cool, really cool stuff. I haven't used this very much. I found it used, and it was in pristine condition, so I haven't messed with it much. Already showed you my uh, Chris Reeve uh, Large Sebenza Black Micarta Scales. This is the Hogue Counter-Strike. This is the Collector's Edition, or Limited, or whatever. And I carry this with me all the time. It's usually either in a backpack or in my pocket, but I always have it with me. I love this thing. It's just absolutely gorgeous and incredibly usable for an out the front knife, uh, which I don't typically like gravitate to. Uh, I love this one. Magna Cut Steel, very sharp, very fun uh, knife. I was able to delete the, uh, the glass breaker on the end. I had a video about that and a video overview as well. This is the Lynch All Access Pry Bar, and I dig this thing too. Lynch sent this out to me for a video overview, and that is up on the internet. 
on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. This thing is fantastic, and I have used it way more than I ever thought I would. I was kind of like one of those, I'll never use a pry bar uh, kind of guys, but I have learned. I have learned um, many, many times when I want to pry with a knife blade, I dig this out of my backpack or my back pocket. It goes in both places quite often, and I've used it a ton, uh, an absolute ton. I love it. This is my dad's knife. This is a Civivi bow, which I borrowed at Christmas time and haven't given back yet because I really like it and I want to do a video overview of it, uh, but haven't gotten around to do that yet. But I've carried it quite a bit. I really like this thing. Very cool stuff. Hopefully a video incoming shortly. This is a Giltec Ruck. This is the Poly one, and uh, I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. So some of this stuff has been... Uh, it's just being stored here for future use or a future video, maybe. This is the Axwell wallet. I've done a video on this. I really, really, really like this wallet. And uh, I'm going to probably do kind of a... I think I did an overview of this and the other wallet that they sent out to me. And um, I love, I love the copper uh, handle. I call them scales almost. You can interchange them like that. It's very, very cool. Got a cash strap. A great wallet really really dig it um i kind of just sort of prefer my ridge wallet over this but not it's more for sentimental reasons i, I think they're both pretty much neck and neck uh, but also the ridge is a gift from my wife so there's that this is my microtech ludt this was a gift from my dad a birthday present and what a find we found this in the river's edge cutlery consignment shop and he basically just bought it and gave it to me which is just awesome uh, my dad is really cool, so yeah, there you go. Uh, there's there's proof that he's really cool, although I didn't need it. You might. I got some stickers and some swag, some of the tags from the different uh, micro lanyards that I've uh, been given over the years and I've purchased. This is one I bought recently. This is the Series 6 Holy Guacamole lanyard. Uh, very cool. Haven't even put it on a knife yet. I've got some other doodads here. Some Ridge Wallet uh, pieces, so this is the cash or the uh, the coin tray, which I would use for cash if I used it. This is, the, this is the clip that came with it. This is an old minimalist wallet that I used. I believe this is a fossil. Yeah, it's a fossil. I don't know if you can still get these or not, but I loved this thing while I used it. I just like the the metal ones a little bit better, but it's there. Sometimes I swap that out just for fun. There's a couple of REC collectible coins that I have, uh, 2021, 2022. Um, this company, Millspin, does these, and they're fantastic at what they do. Great, great designs. Really cool. Cool stuff. This is my Millie Cub, Millie Club <laughs> coin. Uh, I love this. I'm a member of that uh, Facebook group. If you're not, you should be. Uh, the people on there are super kind, very, very nice people. And uh, you get a lot of good info from them as well. Just a very practical place to talk knives and collectible gear. And uh, these are, are purchasable at cutleryshop.com. Although I do believe they lasted a while, but they are all sold out now. And I'm hoping to see what the next coin is going to look like. It's going to be really cool. This is a uh, Viking coin. I kind of forget the company that makes these. And I need to do a little coin overview because I kind of dig that stuff. Some people kind of think it's useless. I like it. I'm a nerd. On to drawer number two. Drawer two is another but knives. Here we go from left to right. Let's do the bottom row first. This is the Demco Knives 80 20.5 with the Shark Lock. This thing is fantastic. I use this, even though it's like a beefy knife and not what I would call a slicey knife, I use this out in my garage to break down like 100 boxes in a couple of hours. And it just... It just went through everything. It was great. Went through the tape. Had to clean it up really good when I was done, uh, but it's a beast. It needs a sharpening job really, really bad now, but I haven't gotten around to it. This is my QSB Penguin, my favorite budget knife. And uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you already know I, I repeat that a lot. It's my favorite budget knife because it's my favorite budget knife, I guess. All right. On to the next. This is a Protect Newport. It's kind of a cool milled out design on the handles and I believe that's abalone and the button and the thing just flies out. Uh, my dad and I both have this same exact knife. As a matter of fact, I saw him buy one 
and I liked it so much and, and because it was the only one left and I wanted to have the same knife that he did because we're, we're tight like that. I went back and got myself one as well. This thing's beautiful. Good gentleman's carry if you're into that sort of thing. And uh, I guess we'll go from here over here. These are all in one way or another River's Edge Cutlery exclusives. This is the very, very limited exclusive from uh, Protec Knives, the Strider SMG. And uh, you will not see one in this colorway unless it came from River's Edge Cutlery. And I don't know how many they made, but I think it was, it was like very, very few. So count yourself very lucky if you have one of these. I carried it uh, from time to time, but more, this is just one of those things that's cool to own. I love it. I go around the house and kind of, <laughs> you know, cut stuff around the house and, and I don't, I don't carry it a lot outside of the house. I don't know why, maybe because I don't want to lose it, but that is cool. I've always wanted a Strider SMG from ProTech and when REC came out with an exclusive, that's the one. That was an easy buy. This is the Giant Mouse Ace Grand. And Vanitas, this is also a River's Edge Cutlery exclusive in Burlap Micarta. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I use this quite a bit. I had a Grand before that was a lot more beat up than this, but this one replaced it. I haven't used this one quite as much, but it's still one of my favorite knives to carry. This is the uh, original Spider Ghost Shaman in the River's Edge Cutlery colorway. Dig this knife. I'm not like of the Shaman devotee, this is the best knife ever fan club, but I do love it. It's fantastic and it will take an absolute beating. It's kind of like carrying a fixed blade around in your pocket. So I do love it. And because it's an REC exclusive, that was an easy purchase as well. Here is another REC exclusive in the dubbed avocado colorway. Although to me it's flat dark earth and olive green. <laughs> I love this thing. This was my first Mannix, um, and it was not my last, as you will see next. But this is the REC colorway exclusive from Spider Co. This is a really cool, this is a really cool find. They got a few of these in back when they were released. This is the Big Brown Bear exclusive. Um, and this was, I guess this isn't an REC exclusive. It's a Big Brown Bear collaborative exclusive in... CPM 15 V from Spider Co. Very, very cool. I did get this from River's Edge Cutlery and that's why I thought that it was an exclusive. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is my Olamic Cutlery Wayfarer 247. It's one of my favorite knives of all time. I beat it up, I use it quite a bit. You can see it's dirty and I need to clean it. Uh, but this thing is fantastic. It's got kind of like a pistol grip. I have done a video overview of this knife a long time ago. I've had this for many, many years now. It's probably one of my favorite kind of high-end knives. I was able to get into one of these a long time before the, the most recent price hike, and um, I'm glad I did because this thing is fantastic. The action is probably one of the smoothest action knives I've got. Very cool. M390 steel. Beautiful, beautiful titanium knife. Good stuff. My Microtech UTX85 in bronze apocalyptic um m390 and then bronze antique on the handle scales and an edc micro lanyard that was matched up found that one at river's edge cutlery they have some on the shelf there if you want to go find one to try to match up to your, your knife. i carry this all the time i love it uh, i prefer a single blade to a, a dagger blade a double edge blade um, because I just find it more practical. I can put my thumb up there. Love this thing. Very good stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Next, my one hinderer. Um, this is the XM18 Skinny. It's in uh, like a blue anno, and it is, uh, in my estimation, this is kind of like, uh, kind of like, oh, Kentucky blue. Yep, again. I'm a bit of a fanboy, so when I saw these, this is the color I picked out of the five that were available because regardless of what basketball team I like, blue is my favorite color. Here we go with the Dragonfly 2. This one's in K390. I bought this to beat it up and have done so, and it is it is like, it's like Maximet. It really is a steel that I think is going to last, the edge is going to last forever. 
obviously I've got to take better care of it and uh, clean it off. It's got some sticky stuff on it from cutting through boxes, I think. Warncliffe, love that. I love the Dragonfly. As far as small knives goes, this is one of my favorite small knives. This in the Runt 5. Here is a Hat 40 version of the same thing, but uh, not in the Warncliffe shape, but in the more leafy shape, the drop point. It's the normal one, and uh, found this at River's Edge in the consignment area. Never had Hat 40 steel before, so I had to try it out. I've used it a little bit, but not a whole lot. It's um, It kind of rides here in the safe, so to speak. You can see it's got that um, the wrapping on it. It's very cool. Very cool idea here and interesting knife design. This, um, gosh, I wasn't ready to show these yet, but this is a knife I'm working on. Uh, it's not done. It's a work in progress. This is a uh, high carbon steel. Really, um, yeah, uh, since it's here, I'm showing it to you. You're seeing it first online. Uh, but this is my little Wildcat Everyday Carry fixed blade that I'm working on. And hopefully I'll have some of these in the future when I figure it all out. I'm going to figure out if I like it or not. <laughs> yep, still a work in progress. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning how to do that. And I'm very excited about it. Let's move on to drawer three. All right, here we go. I'm going to go very quickly through these. This is the Benchmade Bug Out. Put some scales on it, aftermarket scales. It's the Kershaw Leak. Um, I'm also a big fan of orange, so I've got some orange knives. This is the CJRB Rhea. This is one of my favorite budget knives. It's in their proprietary um, AR... I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but it's in their proprietary powder metallurgy steel. And this thing is fantastic. I got the pack of wood scales. I believe this is a knife center exclusive, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, not sure. There's a Kit Carson designed, uh, I believe this is the M16 CRKT. And yeah, M16, very, very cool. And it's, you know, this is definitely what they call a budget knife for sure. It's a, it's a little bit like, it's very, very metally. That's, that's how I would describe it, very metally. But I love this design. It is super practical. It's very, very cool. And uh, designed by a guy that is pretty darn well known uh, in the knife industry for sure. This is a beast of a knife. The Benchmade Mini Adamas in CPM Crew Wear. This is a fantastic knife. This will, um, this to me is like a, a mini hinderer. This thing is a beast. Very, very cool knife. I've got the uh, the Nasco Lander. I've got the Wee Banter. I've got, uh, this is rare. I'm gonna come back, back to this one. This is the Giant Mouse Ace Riv, the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. As you can tell, I really like Giant Mouse knives. This is the Civivi Elementum with the Ebony Wood Scales. I think I did a video on this here recently, so I won't bother pulling it out to show you. Civivi Riffle in Damascus. I've done a video on that. This is the Hogue Knives Deca in Magna Cut. I did a video on this. These are a pair that I got from my dad for Christmas, two different Christmases. This is the Kershaw Dividend. This is the Kershaw Link. I think it's 1776 Link. Absolutely awesome assisted knives. Uh, I haven't done a video on these yet, but this is really cool because this is uh, 20 CV steel, and these are, at the time that... I got these. These were under a hundred bucks, and you don't normally see that kind of steel in an American-made knife under a hundred dollars. Very cool stuff here. This is the Civivi Volte. I've done a video on this one. This is a really cool, kind of a long, skinny knife. I really, really dig this. It's kind of elegant in a way, and also pretty rugged in a way as well. I liked it quite a bit. Did a video on that one too. These are my Benchmade Griptilians, the full-size grip, and the mini grip. These were my first ever decent, not Walmart knives. And I've done, I think one of my first videos was on these two knives. Tell a story about how I almost lost this at a Reds game and walked back across the bridge because I didn't want to give it up. Let's go back to this Benchmade here uh, because this one is really interesting. And I don't know if I've done a video on this yet. This is a Jared Oser design, and he teamed up with uh, Benchmade, or Benchmade teamed up with him a while back. This is the Tengu Flipper, and this thing is fantastic. It's 20 CV. I got this a long time ago, 
and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful knife. One of my favorites in the collection for sure. I don't carry it all that much. It doesn't have a pocket clip, but you know, so uh, the nice little uh, leather pouch here, it does kind of flip around in your pocket some, which, you know, we're all used to pocket clips these days. So sometimes that's a bit of a hassle, but I still carry it quite a bit. Uh, just not as much as a pocket clip knife. I just love the design of this thing. And uh, the leather pouch kind of makes it kind of special. And the fact that it's an Oser made knife or Oser design knife is also very special. He's a fantastic knife designer. On to the last. This is mostly fixed blades. A couple of uh, CJRB. This is the Crag. Um, this one, the name is escaping me right now. Pretty cool knife. Here's my, uh, I love this thing, actually. It's very, very cool. Uh, this is my Openel. This is Babinga Wood. I found this at a cool shop while I was on vacation a couple of years back. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, a lot of people hate on these. I kind of like them. They serve a purpose. And they're also just cool, nostalgic pieces. And uh, I found one in a cool, different kind of wood than it normally comes in. So I grabbed it. It's my Spyderco Delica 4. I've had that for many years. Got a Swiss Army knife. I've got another thing that came from a, uh, the Bespoke Post. I don't know if I can open this. It's kind of dangerous to try to open it with one hand because it's so tiny. But this, I don't know what it is. I don't remember what it is, but it came in a Bespoke po Post uh, subscription box. And it does look really cool. Kind of got a cool oriental flair to it. Kind of an upswept Tonto. I think it's 440. 40C, yeah. So, uh, you know, definitely a budget knife. Uh, who knows where it's made? I don't really know anything about this, but I've kept it in my collection just because it looks fairly unique. Okay, let's talk about some of these fixed blades. This is a Walkman knife. Very cool stuff. Got this at REC. Uh, I've used this out in the woods a few times. Um, got a pretty cool, uh, kind of sturdy feeling handle. Uh, kind of scalloped out there. Very cool design. I love that. This one is probably, gosh, this is one of my favorite knives. It's a Chris Reeves in Yossi. Um, I think in Yossi means bird. So just fantastic knife. I did a video overview as soon as I bought this and I've used it out in the woods plenty of times. It has been cleaned up a lot. The last time I went backpacking, I used this knife 90% of the time and my bigger knife and my smaller knife much less. Um, I use this for everything from food prep to a little bit of like whittling. I didn't whittle anything that looks good. It just, you know, just out of boredom or whatever. Love this thing. Very cool. Fits in my back pocket. Has an ultra flat sheath design. Love that knife. It's my Condor Bushlore. This is kind of a, a good go-to under a hundred bucks. Easy purchase. If you want a knife to beat up in the woods, candy grind. This is the Jacob Creates Chickadee which is just fantastic, man. This thing, um, Jacob does a fantastic job. This is such a cool little knife. I did a video overview on this a while back, uh, and it is a great everyday carry fixed blade. The sheath is perfect. It comes with its Kydex sheath. has great retention. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, Jacob creates you rock. You're doing great stuff, man. This is my SE Azula 2. This is a staple for backpacking and camping. Love this knife. I've had this for so long. I can't remember. Great stuff. This is my LT Wright. I uh, believe this one, this is a one-off. This is like a, maybe like a, from what I understand, it's kind of like a prototype where he's made a one or a couple and he just sells them when he's done with them and he's not sure if he's going to make them anymore. And I can't honestly remember what it's called. If, if it even has a name, it, I think it says one-off on the box. And uh, I haven't done a video of this yet, but when I saw it at the shop, this was a no-brainer. Another, even though it's not as small as the Chickadee, it is very easily carried uh, in your pocket with the sheath. Uh, I think the sheath is a wraparound sheath that comes all the way up here, so you can stick it in your pocket and have a nice fixed blade on the go. And plus, who doesn't love LT Wright? Dude is fantastic. Makes some awesome, makes some awesome knives. Here's my. Uh, just my knife again. <laughs> this one didn't turn out as good, so it's sitting, sitting in the bottom drawer, but I still have a lot of work. It's not even sharp yet, so I still have a lot of work to do on that one. It's just sitting there for fun. And this is the Benchmade Bushcrafter. 
and I believe this is in S30V. I have taken this. This has been one of my go-to backpacking knives when I don't mind the weight. It is very heavy, uh, but you could do some, and and I have done some pretty pretty hardcore um, wood processing to make a fire with out in the woods. You know, you can easily baton with something this beefy, start a fire on the edge. I mean, it's definitely an outdoorsy knife by by far, not an everyday carry uh, friendly. Uh, knife, but I love this knife. I love the leather sheath that comes with it. It's it's a beautiful piece, but it's insanely functional. Um, it's just it's really heavy. So always, if I'm going backpacking, there's a there's a constant dilemma: do I take this one or do I take something a little more lightweight? As I said last time, I took a week long backpacking trip. I took this is my big knife. This is my medium sized knife, and I believe the bug out uh, might have been the bug out for my like super light actually front pocket knife and I used this more than I used anything else but I didn't use this to process wood like I did with this so <laughs> there you have it that's the current collection all right so that's what's in my current um everyday carry collection and 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 loadout and what I take with me what the essentials are what the collection kind of consists of it's always changing except for that stuff I mentioned in the first part of the video that's pretty constant so my question for you is what's in your pockets what's in your bags and what's in your collection and your storage bins back home uh, that you constantly go through and how do you organize it all I'm curious to see and if you have any insights you can uh, give to me and everyone else in the comments that would be awesome I will read through them and respond I love doing that love this community and if you're still with me i did mention that i'm thinking already about my next giveaway i love doing giveaways and i'm um, just kind of creeping up on a thousand subscribers got a ways to go yet i think i'm over 800 or whatever right now so i got a lot to think about but i do think i've decided on giving away something that is more general generally everyday carry that everyone can use and i'm going to build a package or maybe two packages maybe have two giveaways simultaneously just to celebrate the thousand mark because that would be pretty special if it happens and when it happens and i'm thinking about giving away a ridge wallet not this ridge wallet this is my ridge wallet and it has sentimental value to uh to myself because my wife gave this to me but a ridge wallet would be an awesome giveaway so i'm thinking about doing that building a, a, a little package of everyday carry gear that would go with it in some way whether it's all the same color or just you know it's all pocketable items maybe a pocket knife in there too but i'm not sure um and then also i'm thinking about building a second package because axwell sent me an axwell wallet and this one uh, is brand new it's the one i used in the video to swap out the the plates for for the copper one that they gave me and uh, so I'm thinking about doing two giveaways at once uh, based on these everyday carry wallets that are really awesome uh, and a little bit expensive. So if you're interested in one of those, um, yeah, just give it a little bit of a teaser. So thanks for hanging with me in this really long video. And uh, I just I'm so thankful that you would watch. Appreciate you very much. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.